Musty, good morning. Yes, let's talk about the Trump train. Okay. I think that there are going to be a lot of Trump supporters that will be saying, what the hell did I do? Very soon. If you see, uh, you look at the Dow and what's happening with the Dow? Up 14 points. So what is this telling us? This is telling us that all the big business is sitting there giving the thumbs up and the kudos to Trump. Why? Well, look at who he's got in his cabinet. One of the main guys he's putting in now is basically, uh, he's an investor and he, he's going to kind of, uh, you know, run, run things and uh, basically insider trading, okay? It's what it amounts to, uh, like insider trading. He's, he's the one that's going to help put laws into effect uh, when it comes to big business, okay? Every person that Trump has on his team is really anathema to the, the, the small guy and small business. Okay, it's all people that are geared towards big business, lining their pockets, and they line their pockets on the backs of the workers. If they were going to do, if they cared so much about the workers, they would have done something by now. But of course that hasn't happened. The rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. And now effectively, they have elected a person that would be happy to do away with any uh, minimum wage because we can't compete in the local market if we have minimum wage. And of course, the way he's going to get around this is to allow the states. Well, the states are the ones that are putting it into place. My hands are off. I haven't done anything already. He's not even in office. And his sons have out this thing to, to buy time with the president elect and we can go on a hunting trip. Of course, now they said, oh, no, they, they have nothing to do with that. But yet those papers are already out to all of the donators. Okay. Yes, they knew exactly what was going on. Yes, they contributed to it. Okay. Now they're trying to back off of it. So Trump is trying to find every single loophole that he can find. And this is going to be an absolute 100% nightmare. So uh, again, uh, he's not even in office yet. And we're already having the foreboding of, oh my God. And the things that they were voting in, in for, if they think that that's going to come about, yeah, Trump's out there with his big rah rah crowd, and they're still, you know, oh, Trump, you're fabulous. Trump, oh, yeah, feed his ego, feed his ego. Wait till he gets in office. Wait till he gets in office and mark my words, all these happy little Trump supporters are going to be ruining the day when they voted for Donald Trump. Drain the swamp? Oh, you haven't seen a swamp until he gets in office. Now you're going to see a swamp. Now you're going to see what a swamp really is. Okay. So uh, again, this is really, really egregious what's taking place. And hopefully there are enough people in Congress and, and uh, in the House that, that's going to put the kibosh on a number of these people that they can put the kibosh on. Uh, and, and it's going to be difficult because Republicans are usually for what? Big business. 
Uh, but hopefully there are enough of them that have enough common sense that also realize they have to be elected by the people, that not the only ones that are voting are big business people, okay? And they'd be fooled the people this time, but you can only fool them for so long. And excuse the expression, the shit is going to hit the fan soon when he gets in office and they find out exactly what they voted for and what they have now put in office. Okay. Hopefully, if we are really, really fortunate <clears throat> that he will get impeached very rapidly for all of the uh, drama that he's putting in place. Now, whether it's an impeachable offense because he has just got uh, so many conflicts of interest all across the board. And this idea that he's now going to put in a half-blind trust, there's no such thing as a half-blind trust. Okay, he has no intention of letting go of any of his businesses, no intention of not continuing to make, I mean, you should have gotten this, for God's sakes, he even wants to continue to run the TV program. And he's running this campaign, and he's running the, the people, putting people in office like he's running his freaking TV program. Okay? He can't run up to other countries and say, you're fired. Okay, because he doesn't like the way they're doing things, you know. And who's he putting in, in office? People that have no idea how government works. The people that have a lot of money and they're used to snapping their fingers and say, I want it done this way and everybody better do it or I'll fire you. Well, you can't do that in government. You have to contend with the House and the Senate. There are laws, rules, regulations in this country. This is not a dictatorship, although he would love to turn it into a dictatorship, a dynasty. Okay, but that is not this country. And hopefully, for God's sakes, well, hopefully we have enough laws and rules on the book that's going to curtail some of the BS that he's trying to put in place. Now, when we have the, the big thing today, Kellyanne Conway, uh, is going to continue to be his one of his top advisors. She's the ear of the president, and she is also the one that's that's going to be, you know, with the press corps communicating. Okay, she's the puppet master behind the scenes. Okay, she's the one that keeps trying to skew things. Like she says, she's got to find a way to manipulate him to get him to do the right thing. She's a master manipulator, okay? She's good at her job, okay? And uh, she'll stand behind and say whatever BS nonsense and absolutely blind to truth, blind to facts, blind to anything she just absolutely with an absolutely straight face will lie through her teeth and say whatever fantasy that they want to promote as if it's fact okay and enough people will buy into it because she says it with a straight face okay and will go on the attack of anybody it's like a cult, cult Trump, okay? Again, it's run like cult Trump. Whatever he says goes, doesn't matter how little reality is in it, and they'll all sit there like little blind robots. I feel like I'm, I'm watching Stepford Wives, you know, all the little Stepford people behind him like with the deer caught in the headlight look, all of them, you know, in their little robotic spew. Not one of them will challenge anything that he says. He continues with her Twitter rants. This man is unstable, for Pete's sakes. He is unstable.
and uh, the, the, again, the, 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 that type of a person like Kellyanne Conway, that's got the ear of the president, you know, that, that is just absolutely blind uh, to reality, is a danger. These people are dangerous. So again, I, uh, my prayer for this is hopefully that there are enough people in Congress, in the House, that have enough brain cells left and enough humanity and, and, and enough of just having some sort of integrity that they will see that Trump has no intention except for selling the U.S. to the highest bidder. That's what he's about. He will sell out to the highest bidder. 100%. He will sell out to the highest bidder. No morals. No morals. No conscience at all. All about money and power. Okay. How much money do you have to have for God's sakes? How much money do you have to have? You have a roof over your head. You have food in your mouth. You have some decent things in life. How much more money do you need to have? Doesn't it reach a point that enough is enough? Now it's just become a big ego game. To have more and more and more? You'll never spend it in a million lifetimes. Okay. Is the whole of ego that vacuous that it's never filled? They are not happy people. Ones that are millionaires, billionaires, this and that, and they have to keep making and making and making because that whole of ego is so fragile. They have to keep being propped up, patted on the back, told how wonderful they are. Why? Because they don't believe it themselves. If they were secure in themselves, they would not need to keep having this rah-rah club he would not have to keep going out and have all these people in these rallies clapping. Away. Well, I got news for him. When he gets in office and people see just what they voted in and that he's anathema, totally against the people that voted him in, They'll be ready to rip his head off, not be giving him all these clapping kudos. That day is coming, and it's coming rapidly. He can only fool them for so long. Okay. Only fool them for so long. But I guarantee he's not for higher wages. He's not for better working conditions. He's not for people having good health care. He's out for cronyism. He's out for the highest 1%. And this is what you have voted into office. Okay. Lord, help us. And let us just hope that he gets impeached sooner rather than later because that day has to come that day will come that day will come he's so arrogant so mistaken so arrogant and thinks that he will get in office and be sworn in and the rules and regulations do not apply to him they only apply to the little people okay to keep them under his thumb. Okay. And he can give them lies and promises which he'll never follow through on. Okay. 
but the day is coming when he will be impeached or God forbid, I don't wish this on anyone, but all of these second right amendments, what he was saying for Hillary Clinton, that if she gets in, that maybe one of them can take care of him. Wink, wink, wink. His words may come back to bite him in the ass. Okay. I hope to God he's got a lot of really good secret service men around him because uh, he, he has tried to puppet manipulate, I think, the wrong people on this. And uh, I think he's really... Uh, in a dangerous, he's putting himself in a very dangerous position. Frankly speaking, I think he's put himself in a very, very dangerous position once people find out exactly what he's about. They're still in this fog, absolute fog, of not understanding what's going on. Trust me, the Dow would not jump 14 points if they were actually thought he was for the little people. The Dow is run by big business, making more and more money. Okay? More and more profits. For who? <laughs> the board of directors and the, the, the people that have invested in it. <laughs> not for those that are, that are supporting and making the companies viable through their hard labor, okay? No, that's not. I wish to God this country would start taking care of their workers. It used to be way back in the, the old days when there were some ethics in a business place. Well, ethics have gone down the tubes. They now have thrown out ethics and be loyal to their workers for the bottom line of money. And when they threw out being like a, a company that everybody was like family and everybody took care of each other and there was security in your position, when they went to the bottom line of cash, that's when this country started going downhill and will continue to go downhill until they start bringing back some ethics in the workplace, some realistic things when the ones from the very top don't need to have millions and billions of dollars while the worker gets $10, $10 an hour and can barely make, make a wage, can barely put food on the table. There needs to be a vast, vast difference in the workplace. If companies would retool themselves and see that if the ones in the very top took some less money, because they don't need all the money they've got to live, if they could take less money and filter it down to the workers, so everybody could have a decent life. They would have happier workers. They would have more substantial companies. Okay. There would be more stability in this country for everyone. Instead of the greed that's at the top and trying to push down the, the, the workers to take as absolutely little as they can get away with giving them. If they could still have slaves in this country, trust me, they would do that. If they could get away with slavery, because it's not, not that much farther away from slavery, the way that the country, companies are run now. Their bottom line, again, is cash. Okay. No care for the workers, no care for anybody except the bottom line. Okay. Wake up, America. Wake up. Okay. 
it's time to wake 